Hello, now we're going to be calibrating the Fox 4 model 2010 applicator. Calibrating, the reason for calibrating is if you get a top of form fault or out of paper fault of any sort, then you're going to probably want to do two different types of calibrations. Try one first, and then the second one I'll show you if it doesn't solve the problem. First thing you want to do is uh, make sure the unit is powered up. You want to open the cylinder, swing away cylinder. It just makes it easy to get access to the labels and the rip. You don't really need to do that, but it just makes it a little easier. So the first calibration would be what they call the top of form. If you're getting a top of form fault on your screen, it's a very simple process. You just press the feed button, which is located in the middle. Uh, you press the feed button and hold it down for two or three seconds, like this, and it will feed a label. Once it feeds a label, uh, the label is calibrated. What that does, it calibrates the length of the label. The length of the label is in the feed direction. So in other words, if you were to go from, say, a two-inch label to a four-inch label, you would need to do the feed calibrate, the top of form calibrate. That's the very first and easiest calibration when you're having label feed problems. Next. If you're getting out of paper faults on the display, you may need to do what is called a long calibration. Uh, the best way to do this, you will go into the menu first. You go to where it says media sense settings, hit enter again. Now you're going to use the down arrow key to scroll to where it says calibration. Sensor calibration, you hit enter on that. Form calibration is going to be highlighted. You hit enter on that. It's going to say yes or no. You say yes on the form calibration. Now you're going to remove the label stock. Push your lever to open your print head. And slide your label out. Close your print head and then you're going to say press escape button. This is right here. You press escape. It's going to go through the process. Now it says scan the backing. So what you're going to do is remove a couple labels or so off the backing. And you're going to load the backing material in the sensor. Like so. Close the printhead. Press the escape. Now it says scan paper. So now what you're going to do is move the paper material into the sensor, which is the paper on your back. And you're going to press the escape button again. It's going through a process of calibrating. Gap, and then at, when you're complete, it's going to say gap mode calibration complete. So now what you're going to do now is escape out of the menu. And all the way out, exit, and you're going to see a, a position fault. As a normal fault when you're done calibrating. So what I want you to do is pull some labels through, close the head, and I want you to press and hold the feed button again. And then your calibration will be complete. So what you basically did there was what we call the long calibration, where you're setting the voltages for the uh, paper, type of paper you're using, and you did a label length calibration or top of form at the same time. Now your calibration should be complete. You press the feed button a couple times and make sure your label stops where it's supposed to and you're okay. The process is complete.